How's it going everyone? It's Abdallah here from the YouTube channel Abdallah Smash 26 and I am giving you guys a pro tips tutorial on how to play Smash Bros. A little bit of background about myself, I've been playing the Smash Brothers series ever since I was in middle school when Super Smash Bros for Nintendo 64 came out. Now I've been playing competitively ever since. Melee is my favorite game, i played all the versions of Brawl, Brawl Plus, Brawl Minus, um, Vanilla Brawl, Unstoppa Brawl, all that stuff, Project M. Now, I'm really pumped up about Super Smash Bros. for 3DS, and now that it's out in the States, uh, there are a lot of newcomers and veterans uh, that are looking to up their game. This video is definitely geared towards the newcomers to the series of Super Smash Bros., and I'm going to be teaching you guys the basics of Smash Bros. in order to get you guys up to competitive pro gaming level. Now, stay tuned, because we're going to go through the in-game tutorial on how to play, um, and then I'll narrate that. Um, once we're done with that, we're going to go into training mode against Bowser, and I'll be Mario, since Mario's equally um, available in the demo, in case you guys don't own Smash Bros. yet. So, I'll be there to show you guys how to play. So, without further ado, let's jump on in, and if you guys are excited for Smash Bros., click on that like button and share this video with a friend. So, here we go. Now... I'm pretty pumped up, and for those of you guys who don't know about Smash Bros, the object of the game is to hit your opponents off the screen. Um, as you guys can see, Mario just hit Bowser way off the screen, and you went from there. Uh, you use a circle pad to move. If you tap the circle pad, you can dash. Uh, you press the jump button, which is either Y or X, um, or up. Uh, you've got a standard jab attack combo right over here, and then you've got the tilts, which is side A. you got up A, um, and then down A. Now, next, uh, it shows once your opponent has taken enough damage, um, you can use a smash attack, uh, which is the up smash, and the more damage the character gets, the farther they'll go flying. So you can charge up a smash attack there, they showed. Uh, now, if you do get hit, uh, it doesn't mean that it's over. It means that you can use your specials in order to grab the ledge. So don't give up, it says. So there's also four different types of special moves. you got neutral B, up B, side B, and down B. Each character has a variety of special moves. Uh, you can also press the shield button, which is defaulted to R, uh, to roll, to spot dodge, and uh, just to shield as well. So you're going to need to know how to play defensively. Uh, while you're shielding, you can get grabbed. So hold shield and press attack, or press the grab button. Um, there is an item called a smash ball, in which if you get it, you press the B button, and then you'll release your final smash ability. There's a lot of different final smashes depending on any character that you use, so knowing how to use them is definitely key to victory there. So without further ado, let's jump on in. That was very quick. You guys can see that on your own. But let's go into the finer details of all of the attacks and go from there. So in order to do that, we're picking Mario, uh, because those of you guys at home who don't have Super Smash Bros. 4 Nintendo 3DS, uh, you will be able to actually download the demo and play as Mario right along with me. All right, so we're going to go to solo. We're going to go to training. All right, I'm going to pick Mario right here. Uh, we're going to go against Bowser, because Bowser is pretty big, and uh, he's a pretty decent combo. I'm going to put him at level 9 so that I can uh, actually use him to attack me. And then I'll give you real-life examples. Uh, we're going to go to Final Destination simply because it's a nice flat level. Um, it's very competitively oriented. A lot of people like picking Final Destination because there's no stage hazards. There's no gimmicks about it. It's straight up what it is. All right, so... On the screen right now, you can see damage, you can see total damage, and you can see combo. I'm going to leave that there just for demonstration purposes. Um, so we'll just start with the basics of movement. Uh, movement, as we saw, uh, if you tap the um, circle pad, you'll start running. Um, now, you can kind of run side to side, you can run and jump, you can walk. Some characters have the ability to crawl, which is holding down and moving forward. Mario does not. All right, so the very first attack that you want to learn is your jab combo. Now that's just simply not holding any direction and then pressing A. As you can see, I did two damage. If you keep on pressing A, you can do a, a jab combo, which for Mario, it's punch, punch, kick. Uh, it's always been that way. There are characters that have like a flurry of attacks. There are characters that have just a single attack. Um, but typically, the jab combo are the fastest to come out when, uh, when you press the A button. So the frames uh, are a lot lower than normal or other attacks. All right, so we talked about the jab combo, which is very awesome. It's good for quick and easy damage, but it won't kill. Um, let's talk about the tilts. Uh, you got the forward tilt, 
Mario's forward tilt is a pretty long range kick. You can actually tilt it upwards. See how I'm uh, going diagonal upwards there? You can tilt it forward, and you can kind of tilt it diagonally down. So let's see, you gotta get it right at the right angle in order to hit it down. So that's pretty good. Um, just looking at the tilt, it does about seven damage a piece, so keep that in mind. Uh, the up tilt, which is one of Mario's best tilts, I would have to say, um, is kind of an uppercut. As you can see, you hit him up into the air, um, and then you can combo them from there. Uh, the down tilt of Mario's is pretty good too. Um, it's good for comboing, but he does a little trip. Very nice. So as you can see, we're racking up damage on Bowser. Uh, let's talk about smash attacks now. Uh, for the newcomers to the Smash series, um, it may be a little bit hard to do these. Um, it's typically, uh, you just press uh, the circle pad and the A button, or your attack button, at the exact same time. Um, if you press and hold it, you'll be able to charge up a fully charged smash attack, and then it automatically releases at its full strength. Uh, you have an up smash, which is pressing up at the same time as A uh, to do a headbutt, and you've got a down smash, which hits in front of Mario and behind Mario. Uh, there are many characters uh, that their smash attacks do multi-range. Um, some characters hit both sides of them at the same time. Some characters only hit right in front of them. Uh, so it's up to you guys to find out what character does what and what trajectories uh, they're given with their moves. So let's go ahead and hit Bowser with a smash attack. As you can see, he's at um, a pretty high percent. Um, so with that being said, whenever um, a character is kind of smoking and flashing red, then that means that they're about to get killed. They're at a very high percent. Uh, so if we were to do a fully charged up smash, Bowser would most likely die, and he did there. Whenever you saw those red lines that came out of him, that means that nine times out of ten, he's pretty much going to die. Um, so right over here, we have the down smash, which is awesome. It does 14 damage, uh, fully charged up, and it hits both sides. So if you're behind Bowser, you can easily, uh, or if he's behind you, you can hit him from the behind of it. Um, with that being said, let's take a look at um, something that we like to call sweet spots. Now, Mario's forward smash is the fireball, as you guys can see right over here. It's a gigantic fireball that he, like, explodes right in front of him. Um, if you hit them, if you hit Bowser with the sweet spot of it, which is the flame, it'll do more damage. Let's take a look, for example. Um, every move in the game um, either has a sweet spot or it doesn't. Uh, Mario's got a couple moves that have a sweet spot, and I'll go over them with you. Um, let's take a look. So right up front, if you're this close to Bowser and you do the forward smash, you do about 14 damage. Now, let's say we uh, actually hit him with the sweet spot of the flame, it'll do a little bit more. Okay, that was, I was a little bit too close. And as you can see, Smash Bros. is all about spacing, right? So, whoop. Spacing right there. Okay, so 17 damage. So 3% more and plus a little bit more knockback. So when you're fighting, you want to make sure that your spacing is perfect so that you hit your enemies with sweet spots. All right, so we talked about jabs, we talked about tilts, we talked about smashes. Uh, let's talk about a dash attack. Now, when you're running, as any character, all characters have a dash attack. For Mario, it's a trip. It's his uh, little baseball slide. And that comes out pretty quick. So it's uh, definitely another move in your arsenal that you want to get used to. Uh, let's take a look at um, aerial attacks. Now, as you can see, whenever you're jumping... Um, each character either has one double jump, a move, a jump that they can use within mid-air. So as you can see, Mario has two jumps. One, two. Some characters like Kirby can continuously jump for a couple times. Um, yeah, and Meta Knight can do that as well. There's some other characters that you gotta try out, but for this demonstration purpose, we're going with Mario. So he's got a double jump. Um, with that being said, while you're in the air, you can do one of five moves. You can do a neutral A, which is a neutral air attack, which is this nice kick that he has here. You can do an up air, which is a flip kick, very good for juggling. You can do a back air, which is very good for killing. You can do a forward air, which is a spike in this game, or a meteor smash. And then down air, uh, which is good for comboing as well. So with these moves, um, it's pretty much trying to learn what moves do what in order to attack your opponent and what kind of trajectory can you put them in to set yourself up for success. As you can see, Mario's up air is probably one of his greater ones because he can bust it out really quick and at the same time, you can combo your opponents to victory. So right over here, uh, I'm going to show you guys. Uh, let's hit him out. A spike is this. That is Mario's forward air. 
So as you can see, you jump off the stage, and he, the trajectory of that move is straight down if you get him on the sweet spot. If you don't get him on the sweet spot, they'll just go flying a different direction. So it's up to you guys to figure out where the sweet spots are on each of these moves. Bam! It's just really awesome, and it's very satisfying when you're able to do that. So let's see if I can miss the sweet spot. Yeah, see, I missed the sweet spot there, and he went flying to the side. Um, another move that Mario has that's one of his best uh, neutrals is his, uh, his neutral air. As you can see right over here, um, let's do it for example. Um, if you hit the sweet spot of it right when the move comes out, you'll do 8 damage, which is great. But if you do it towards the end, you'll do only 5 damage. So it's up to you guys on how you use the moves. Um, you can either do it right away to give some knockback, or you can do it a little bit at a time in order to push him very ever so slightly, and then follow up with another attack. So that's very good. Okay, so we haven't talked about special moves yet, and I'll talk about that right now. Um, every character has four of them. Mario's neutral B, uh, or neutral special attack, is a fireball. It does about four damage a piece. It's pretty good for just um, annoying little damage to uh, build it up. Mario also has his uh, signature cape from Super Mario World that you can easily turn people around. Uh, let's see if I can do this. There we go, so as Bowser's gonna come back, oh, he's not gonna do it. Um, Mario's cape turns people around and it reverses projectiles. So if Bowser did his flame attack, um, he would easily eat his own flame. So it's pretty good. It's a good defensive and offensive move at the same time. Okay, let me see if I can kinda show you. No, he's going up too high. All right, so his down B, is Flood. I don't know if you saw that, but uh, wh what you can do is you could ideally charge it up and then it automatically saves for you. So whenever you want, you can press down B again in order to kind of spray and push your opponents away um, in order to not necessarily do damage, but to push them off the stage. Now it's very useful for doing that. Um, his up and B is the coin uppercut. Now he's had this move ever since the first Smash Bros. Now it's very useful for coming back. So let's get, say you get hit all the way down. You use his up and B in order to come back. So you use your double jump and your up and B. That's pretty much how Mario comes back. You can kind of stall a little bit with the cape, but the main way of coming back for Mario is exactly that. So let's see. Let's see if we can push him a little bit. Yeah, so that's what Flood is. Um, there's also an attack called a grab. If you shield, hold the R button and press the A button, um, or if you just generically press L. Now I'm talking to you guys with a default setup. Uh, if you press L or you do shield and then attack, you can do a grab. Um, you can do a running grab or you can do a standing grab. So whenever you grab an opponent, you have a couple options. Uh, you can throw them in one of four directions, up, down, left, or right, or you can press the A button to do a little bit more damage. Uh, so don't get too greedy with uh, doing all this little damage over here because simply put, um, if they if they take enough damage, they'll actually get out of the grab. As you can see, I can only do a little bit um, before he exits the grab by himself, and I've wasted my opportunity. So with something like that, maybe you want to do one headbutt and then choose a direction to throw. That's Mario's back throw, uh, which is his most powerful, as you can see over there. Let's see, back throw does about 11 damage. Down throw is good for comboing, does 5 damage. Up throw is good for comboing as well. You throw them up and you could follow up with some aerial attacks. Uh, and then he's got his forward throw, which is about eight damage as well. So if you know that you're positioned well and you have Bowser like that, you want to do a back throw, throw him towards the ledge, and then just kind of prevent him from coming back. That's really the name of the game here. Uh, okay, so I went over all of the neutral attacks, I went over the aerial attacks, I went over the ground attacks, um, we went over grabs, we went over shielding, oh, well, not really. Uh, shielding is pretty much holding the R button. As you can see, the more you shield, the more your shield disappears. Now, you don't want to shield too much, or else your shield will break, and then you'll be pretty much stunned until, um, until someone hits you, or you can wiggle out of it. Um, your shield, depending on what moves you actually hit with it, uh, will reduce drastically, so definitely watch out for that. Um, what you want to do is position yourself in a way that you don't necessarily have to shield, um, but you can roll out of the way or you can spot dodge as well. Um, rolling is holding the shield button and pressing left or right. Um, that's how you can pretty much maneuver yourself with invincibility um, so that you don't get hit. Spot dodging is down pressing down and then you stand still and then you're invincible for a second there. 
Uh, when you're in the air, you can also press the R button to dodge as well. So in case you get hit, you're comboed up into the air, you can press the dodge button and then you won't be able to get hit. All right, so let's put Bowser on. Um, let's show off a little bit of defensive maneuvering. As you can see right over here, we're going to stay as defensive as possible by rolling around him, spot dodging when we can, shielding when we can, just so that he doesn't um, attack us. Oh, man. See, there you go. So you can literally play the shield game all you want and then just wait for an opening. Um, that's pretty much a defensive way of playing. But at the same time, you want to be able to deal damage as well before um, he actually deals more damage on you. Ooh, and then sometimes you gotta predict too. Like I was trying to predict him to mid jump, um, but I missed the meteor smash there. Ooh, nice. Okay, so really, um, that is the tutorial on the basics of Super Smash Bros. Uh, if you guys learned something, definitely let me know uh, because uh, we definitely want to continue this series on. I'm going to continue the series with a lot more uh, detailed tutorials. Uh, we're going to go over aerials, we're going to go over ledge guarding tactics, we're going to go over special moves, and we're going to go over way more pro tips that you guys may or may not know. So if you guys did learn something on today's episode, definitely hit that like button and share the video via the click to tweet link in the description. Uh, stay tuned for even more Super Smash Bros. Pro Tips tutorials, and if you guys want to see some of my gameplay videos, go check out my channel. Links are in the description as well for any one of my Super Smash Bros. for 3DS gameplay playlists. So, once again, my name is Abdallah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. See ya!